of Kenya has strongly opposed the introduction of toll fees on major roads in the country in what the association calls a, quote, sheer shameless determination by the Transport Cabinet Secretary. They say the move amounts to double taxation on an already overtaxed citizenry. Here's our reporter Jasmine Wamboy with the details. When Citizen TV first highlighted the government's intention to introduce toll fees on major roads, the Motorists Association of Kenya did not take it lying down. They say this is yet another blow to a sector drowning in levies. As an association and stakeholders also who are present in this meeting, we have resolved in our meeting that uh, uh, we are not going to allow our roads to be turned into private roads. The rate at which things are taking place in this nation is taking driving into another level. Driving will either become a crime or a very expensive affair where the public cannot afford it. According to the association, the simultaneous existence of toll roads and the road maintenance levy amounts to double taxation. The association also says toll roads would lead to congestion on major highways. The alternative use of feeder roads for those who do not wish to pay has also not been received well by the association, who have lamented the sorry state of most of the alternative routes. You cannot use already existing roads and turn them into private land roads. That is the procedure world over. Because that will be unconstitutional, it will impede on the uh, freedom of movement. Further, the association says the government-to-government -government fuel acquisition deal, combined with what the association calls a vague fuel pricing formula, has caused a shrinkage in the transport sector, courtesy of the high fuel prices. Beya mafuta imekuwa ikiongezeka kila kuchao. Ile trip tulikuwa tunameki kama ya 10,000, sa inaenda kama 17,000. The matatu sector has been abused in this country. We are being overtaxed such that you, if you do some rounds around, you will find that uh, most of the vehicles are being repossessed by financiers. The organization, an umbrella body for all motorists, including Matatu owners, truckers and even taxis, now issuing a 21-day ultimatum to the government, after which the sector says it will down its tools in protest of a crippling business environment. Stakeholders in the transport sector are saying the camel's back is broken, county says fees, increment in VAT on fuel, and now the proposed introduction of toll fees are some of the factors that the Motorists Association of Kenya is saying might just push the sector over the edge. Jasmine Wamboi, Citizen TV, Nairobi.